What did the soda can call his dad? Pop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for don't forget, comment your dad jokes down below. Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. Quick video, but after my recent video, I've seen a lot of comments saying about other apps being blocked on a fire stick after the recent update. So if you've noticed recently you're having any problems on your Fire Stick or a Fire TV device, then this could be the reason why, but we'll take a look now, right? So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so I made a video recently about Tech Doctor UK's apps and that they're now no longer available in the Amazon App Store, but that's not the biggest problem. Now, I'm on a Fire Stick 4K Max, and if I go to Developer Options, you can see there's an option for ADB debugging. And in the recent update from Amazon, this has now been disabled locally, meaning an app on your device can't use this feature. Well, I say it's been disabled, it's just no longer working with apps locally installed on the device. And that's the reason Tech Doctor UK's apps no longer work. And I was going through the comments, and it does look like the mouse toggle for Fire TV app is now also not working. Now, what this does, a lot of you might already know, is if you're inside an application, it acts as an air mouse. So say I open up Downloader for Mouse Toggle for Fire TV, you double click the play pause button, but it will no longer work because of that ADB debugging feature is no longer available or no longer working. Nowadays though, Mouse Toggle for Fire TV isn't really an essential app on such as like your Fire Stick because that many apps now are optimized for these kind of streaming devices. But if you're using something that requires like a touch screen, so like a mobile app, that's where mouse toggle for Fire TV and an air mouse is needed. But it's just another one of those where Amazon is just putting obstacles everywhere at the moment. And a lot of people now are just saying, I'm fed up of Amazon. Is there any alternatives? So coming up, I have got quite a few different product reviews and um I got my hands on this Nokia. It was quite a bit back I got this. I haven't had a chance to do the review yet, but this is Android TV. And I've got high hopes for this. So that's one device I'm going to be reviewing. And don't forget you've got the Google Chromecast with Google TV. If you've been a follower on my channel for a while, you'll remember we used to do a lot of um, random Android boxes as well. And then as you can see behind me, we've got the NVIDIA Shield. We've got Roku devices. So like I say, I'm going to be making more reviews of different devices you can try because Amazon are pissing just about everybody off. <laughs> but yeah, if lately you've been noticing any issues on a Fire Stick with apps that you used to use and they used to work fine and now you find that they're not working, this could be the reason why. So it's not only Tech Doctor UK apps that have been affected, also such as Mouse Toggle for Fire TV. If you've noticed that that's no longer working, this is probably the reason why. But something worth noting, third-party apps like your streaming apps and stuff are not affected by this. So if you're finding an app's not finding links or something like that, then that's nothing to do with this. You can still sideload and all that sort of thing. So a lot of you might not even be affected by the ADB debugging feature not working. Whether this is a mistake from Amazon and they didn't mean to do this with the ADB debugging, then it could be fixed in a future update, but we'll have to wait and see for that one because we've not really seen anything from them. But I also wanted to make this video so people weren't just scrolling through thinking, why isn't this working? Endlessly thinking they are doing something wrong. So hopefully if you found that an app isn't working and this is the reason why you find this video and then you know it's not only you. And also as well with the TDUK apps, they were paid for apps. So if you're somebody that bought those apps from the Amazon App Store and the no longer working a lot of people are getting refunds from amazon for those so that's just a little heads up as well and as always let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below is this something that's affected you does it not bother you what do you think right so that being said i hope you enjoy the rest of your day don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and i'll see you soon Ta -da.